What's good everyone? It's your boy Santo G man. Back at it. Spreading unity, prosperity, and respect man. Above all. So today, I pretty much just wanted to take it back to the basics. What kind of topics I started with when I first started this channel. And it's the craziest stabbing that I've ever seen in prison. I'm going to go with the uh, top three crazy stabbings that I've seen in prisons that I witnessed. You know what I'm saying? And it ain't no stories as far as something that I heard, something that I seen on TV. You know what I mean? It's something that I witnessed with my own eyes. And you know what I'm saying? Uh, I'm going to try to describe it with the utmost respect for the victims and the people that just participate in everything. You know, I'm not going to put too much out there, but I just wanted to share a couple stories with you guys. If that's all right with you guys, you know what I mean? Let me know in the comments. Let me know how you guys feel about the whole situation, whether you like it or not. You know what I mean? I respect whatever you have to say. Just like you should respect whatever I have to say. You know what I mean? In this aspect, I'm not saying I condone violence. I'm not saying I condone any of that, but it's shit that I witness and hey, I'm pretty sure people would like to hear, you know what I mean? You're tuning in thus far, you know? So if you're new here, hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell. And if you like this video, hit that like button. Don't cost you nothing and it will help this channel and help this movement out, man. Let's get it. So number one, the first craziest one I gotta say, it was when I hit reception in 2010, this was like March 2010 because I hit the county in 2010. I had got sentenced in December and I hit the county in 2010 in January and I caught the chain two months later. So it had to be in between like March, April, you know what I'm saying? Within my first month getting there this situation took place it was like my second time hitting the yard for anyone that knows the reception process in chino you only go to the yard once a week if you're lucky you know what i'm saying uh i'm pretty sure it probably changed now with them cracking down on pretty much the um cruelty to humans you know what i mean keeping us locked down for so long you know what i'm saying but back then in 2010 man they didn't give a fuck you know so the second time I went out to the yard, um, I see a lot of people that I know from juvenile hall there because at that time they had closed the juvenile facility that they had in Chino and they started sending violators to the TS and then pretty much the reception was for anybody coming from YA or juvenile hall. And even though I had went from juvenile hall to the county, my case was still a juvenile case from the beginning. So I went to reception in Chino. So I go out to yard, right? And I'm spinning. I see a couple of people that I knew from the halls, you know what I mean? I seen the homie Bebe from Pueblos, you know what I mean? Salute Bebe from Pueblos. And I seen his brother Takeoff. I seen Takeoff from Pueblos too, you know what I mean? Salute Takeoff. I don't know whatever happened with them. I, I believe they ended up getting double digits, like 19 and like 39, some outrageous shit, you know what I'm saying? But wherever you at, if you ever watch this or any of you guys ever watch it and they're your homies, you know what I mean? Let them know I send mines. Tell them Santo G send mines. You know what I mean? Uh, so pretty much I go out to yard. I'm seeing a couple of new faces that I know. And then out of nowhere, I just hear yard down. Yard starts going, the fucking alarm starts going off and shit. And I look and there's some white boys. It was the woods at the time. When I was there in Chino, the woods were deep. And they constantly were cleaning up trash. You know, I'm constantly doing shit. So I see some dude. Chucky from P9, you know what I mean? And he's just right there. Boom, boom, boom. He's just stabbing this fool. And the whole time the tower, 
Cause they got Big Bertha, which is like a fucking real fucking strap that they will shoot you with. And then they got like fucking um pepper spray canisters that they throw, little bombs that they throw. They're gonna throw the bombs before they actually shoot someone, you know what I'm saying? So they start throwing the bombs, boom, boom, and the whole time he's not stopping, he's still just doom, doom, doom. He even stops for a little bit, right? And then he looks up at the tower, he like P9. Just boom, straight does like a fucking Hitler yell and yells out P9. And then just continues to straight just boom, 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 boom. It didn't, he didn't stop till he heard that motherfucking Big Bertha. <laughs> Once you hear him load that shit, you know. Once they load it, they're gonna fucking shoot. So homeboy didn't stop until he heard him load that shit. Once he heard him load that shit, that motherfucker, uh, he threw himself on the fucking ground quick. You know what I'm saying? And then the second craziest one I seen was by the Northerners. This was when I was in Sarev. I had got to Sarev. Like I told you guys, if you guys are up on game with my growing up in LA and my chapters of my life, I'm on chapter 10 right now. I talked about when I got to Sarev and for the first time being around Norteños and stuff like that, you know what I'm saying? Uh, and when I say this, I say this with the utmost respect, you know what I'm saying? Uh, this was the first time I was around Northerners, but the second craziest one i seen was them when they were cleaning up house right there in Sade on b yard pretty much i go out to the yard and we're just walking the yard you know what i'm saying uh chopping it up with the homies and one of them fools comes up to me one of the norteños that was in my building he comes up to me and he tells me he's like hey you know uh some shit's about to happen you know what i'm saying so Pretty much just, you know, tell your homies if they have anything to tuck it or go inside or whatever, you know. Uh, so pretty much tells me that, spin, and I just chill at the bleachers. And you just see them fools working out. They're working out. It's like four fools. They're working out. And then out of nowhere, they stop. And then one of them just walks up to him and slices his face. Just Bam, just slices his face. He dips. Then another one just comes and boom, 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 starts hitting him. Then he dips. And then the other two just start boom, 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 just start getting on him, you know? Mm, 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 mm. And they pretty much stayed on him till they took him to the back, you know? And I gotta say, that's number two as far as the craziest ones that i've seen you know and for number three i gotta say when i was in sentinella when i was in sentinella and this was us you know what i mean sentinella is nothing but homies you know it's nothing but homies woods and blacks you know there ain't no northerners down south so and sentinella same thing i'm spinning the lap in the yard i'm walking around had just finished doing my workout or whatever and I remember the homie O from uh, the Knox, you know what I mean? The homie O from Lennox. He walks up to me. He's like, hey, hey, G. He's like, sit down. I'm like, what's up? He's like, sit down, G. You know what I'm saying? Uh, let me talk to you. So I tell the homie, like, hey, I'll get at you right now. So I end up sitting down. And he's like, hey, stay right here, fool. He's like, stay away from the pull-up bars. Like, stay away from the workout area. Like, some shit's about to go down, fool. Like, just kick it here, you know? And then sure enough, out of nowhere, you just see two homies take off on another homie, you know? And boom, they're taking off on them. They drop them. And then one fool is just hitting them. Mm, 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 just hitting them. He's just getting them. And it's to the point where he got tired, bro. Because at that time, the tower that was there, he like, had walked back i don't know if he had got a phone card or something but he had walked back so that's why they chose to do it at that time but they thought he was gonna come back quick but it was a minute before he came back to the point that the homie just stayed there just holding him looking up 
waiting for that food to come back and then continue. And you know what I mean? I don't know if homeboy ever lived or if he made it or not. And you know I mean, I just hope he did. But those are the ones that I got to say, um, being on the yard at those times, those are the ones that it reminds you where you at. And it reminds you that you're in prison and for the next couple of days, you're walking on eggshells because you're like, fuck. I fuck up by getting into with anybody that could be me, you know? And that tension, that feeling in your stomach, you know what I mean? I don't know if you guys hear my voice right now, but that feeling in your stomach, I don't give a fuck how hard you are, you know what I'm saying? I've been through shit. I got battle wounds, you know what I mean? I got scars, like, you don't even know, like, you know? So, I've been stabbed, you know? I've been all kinds of shit, like, so, but you know, if that feeling you get, it's like those were the ones that I gotta say. If I was to sit back and like think about it, those are the ones that I gotta say, you know, still bring chills to me, you know, because they were so vicious, they were so ruthless, you know. You guys, let me know if you guys like this one. You guys wanna hear more stories like this? Let me know, give me a thumbs up. Give me some ideas. It's your boy Santo G. Don't forget to subscribe. Hit that notification bell. Hit that like button. Don't cost you nothing. And it will help out this movement. Boy Santo G. Unity, prosperity, and respect. Let's get it.